Vladimir Dutier. And I'm Meg Oliver. All clear at the Navy Yard today after an employee said she heard gunshots. That call put the Washington facility on lockdown for roughly three hours. Our Chris Van Cleve was there and has the latest. Well, after several hours of very tense waiting here in the Navy Yard area of Washington, D.C., we understand that this was a false alarm, so to speak. There was a report of an active shooter inside the Navy Yard. That is the same military facility that had an active shooting situation two years ago where 12 people were killed. This morning, an employee inside Building 197, the same building that had that active shooter two years ago, thought she heard a noise that sounded like a gunshot. She called police inside the Navy Yard. They then asked for support from law enforcement across Washington, D.C., and we saw a huge police response to this area. The base was locked down. Some people in that building evacuated, others sheltered in place. As an investigation and a room by room search began of Building 197 on the Washington Navy Yard, it took hours, and during that time, it was a tense situation, one very reminiscent of what we saw here two years ago during the active shooter situation where, again, 12 people were killed. Today, turned out there was no sign of a shooter, no sign of a gunman, and police are saying that really this is a great trial run, if you will, to make sure that the lessons they learned from that active shooter situation two years ago were being applied properly. Also here in the D.C. area, we hear if you see something, say something all the time. You hear it on the transit system, on the metro here. You see billboards. If you see something, say something. D.C. Police Chief Kathy Lanier praised the woman who called police saying that's exactly what law enforcement asks people to do. She heard something. She thought it didn't sound right. She called police. That's what they want to have happen. Certainly this is going on with a backdrop of heightened concern, heightened awareness around the 4th of July holiday. D.C. police say they're always on heightened alert because they believe Washington, D.C. is potentially always a target. And they say the response we saw today, an enormous police response, was by design for this type of situation. But again, no shooter found at the Washington Navy Yard, no shots fired, no one hurt. This ends up being a false alarm based on what somebody inside the Navy Yard thought they heard. They thought they heard gunshots. Ultimately, there were no gunshots. And today's scare comes amid an FBI warning of 4th of July terror threats. D.C.'s police chief says today's incident proves her city is ready. We operate here in Washington, D.C., uh, that there's an elevated threat level at all times. Uh, we never lower our, our threat level in terms of our posture, and we're aware of what you know, the you know, discussion and chatter is around the 4th of July events and, and all those threats, and we take those in, into account. Well, I think this event shows that you have a city that's very well prepared. Uh, you have a city that is, uh, has a lot of uh, local, federal law enforcement assets that are very well coordinated. We work together every day. and. It's not only what you see, it's what you don't see.